Donald Trump was in Atlanta. And he got a warm welcoming from the people in Atlanta. He just poured into a Chick-fil-A. And there's some people that are pissed because people liked him at a Chick-fil-A. Across the street, Donald Trump went to a Chick-fil-A yesterday <laughs> and was talking with the workers. And it was such an organic moment because you had all these people that obviously knew that the president was there, but were Trump supporters as well. Minorities. Watch. Hold on, man. Did this black man just call black people minorities? Ugh. Jesus Christ, man. Aren't you supposed to be doing like the, they got you presenting because it's Trump. They want to show that the blacks are down with Trump and you're supposed to help that with you being a black guy you're announcing this segment. Bro, do yourself a favor, bro. Don't call your people minorities. All right, don't do that. It just sounds like shit. You know, black people. If you black and you can't say black, there's a problem. You ain't riding. You ain't riding, bro. When a black man, when a black man has to say, come on, guys. When a black man has to say, the minorities were there. Don't. Don't. Now, I'm going I'm to hit play, guys, but since this is a Tim Black show, I had to stop him and say it. I could save it for later. Now, I don't have to talk about it later. Let's, let's go. Porters as well. Minorities. Watch. Workers. And it was such an organic moment because you had all these people that obviously knew that the president was there, but were Trump supporters as well. Minorities. Watch. So he he asked, are you a Republican? And she said yes. <laughs> Had she said no, would he still have ordered the third? I, I think he was talking. Was he talking about? Did the, one of the workers have a nose ring? And that's what he was saying. That's beautiful. It's art. And he pointed to his nose. Right. I love when Trump it's does amazing. this kind of stuff. It's so funny. And we've seen him do it before. Remember after his first court appearance, he went to that Cuban. Right? So I don't care what the media tells you, Mr. Trump. Uh, we support you. Uh, we support love you. Okay. 4 p.m. We've been 4 p.m. Come here. Let me give you a hug. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> Just to put it in perspective, Atlanta is the modern day black Wall Street where all black businesses flourish. Um, this is a, a highly, probably about 70 percent, uh, 67 percent of black folks that are there. So if you're a Democrat. You OK. OK. All right. So 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 uh, they do not like this. They do not like this. They do not like this. This is not good for Democrats. Democrats are pissed. Democrats are living about this, man. See, this is what I don't like. Trump is a white guy. Biden is a white guy. Both of them are white guys, right? Here's my thing. Why is it that if that sister, that black woman, who was being nice to Trump, was being nice to Biden, nobody would say shit. But since she's being nice to Trump, they're calling her a coon, a mammy. They come up with all these names. Dog. Trump's a white guy, Biden's a white guy. Why is it, why is it that black people are only considered coons when they like Republicans? I got a problem with that. See, I don't, I don't, this is the house of both parties suck. I think both political parties are garbage. Both political parties rob and steal. Both political parties are in it for money and power. That's what both political parties are doing. There are differences within the parties, don't get it wrong, to certain degrees. 
but not enough for you to be like, this is the good party and this is the evil party. If you think either party is the good party and the evil party, you are tripping. Okay? If you think that you, you're missing something, fam, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Neither party is the good party. They're both the bad party. Okay? Donald Trump is good with people. Donald Trump is good with people. Most politicians are good with people. Biden's good with people, too. He's just old as hell. Okay? There have been people I know, or people that I've interviewed that have told me, that Joe Biden is good with people. That Joe Biden makes people feel good. People used to say that about Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton is good with people. That's what they used to say. Bill Clinton had the magic ability to make you feel special and important when he talked to you. The way he listened. It's famously reported that Bill Clinton was amazingly charismatic. I'm sure that a lot of people would say, there's something about Obama, man. When you talk to Obama, if you ever have an opportunity to sit with him, you're going to see how smart he is, how bright he is, how charismatic he is, how funny he is, all these things. A lot of the most successful politicians know how to react with people. Why is it that they don't think that maybe, just maybe, Trump is good with people? He been in the show business for 40 years, and you don't think he's good with people? You don't think he knows how to, he doesn't know how to uh, schmooze with people, how to make people feel comfortable? Nah, nah, he's just, you a sellout if you like Trump. You a sellout if you a nice to Trump. You a sellout. You a cornball. You are this, you are that. My problem is, is I don't like the one side of nature of all these, all these commentators, man. All these commentators are garbage, man, who are who are on this. You got to like the Democrats, or if you don't like the Democrats, something wrong with you. Nah, my thing is, if you like either party, you are tripping. You are ill-informed. You don't have the information, okay? Because if you knew how dirty the Democrats were, really, you wouldn't be like, ooh, the Democrats is a great party. I love them. That means you don't know enough. And if you're sitting around going, Republicans are for the people, you don't know you don't know anything either. I don't know if it's just me, but it seemed like more people were complaining about Trump being in Atlanta, being at the Chick-fil-A, than people were complaining about Biden when he showed up at that black family home with that fried chicken or that fried fish, whatever that was. Fred, come on to the Here's your food, Mr. President. Okay. It's a pleasure serving you. <laughs> All right, man. This is a very unique day, a very special day. Dude, we about to eat dinner with Joe Biden. That's fire, like, the president's coming. Yes, Thank sir. you, man. Thank you, sir. Keep your faith. Couldn't really believe that the president was coming to our house. Uh, this is all great. So what we would like to do is just come into our, our space, our living area. All right. Well, Carter, you, have, you want to show President Biden uh, one of your pictures up here? What's supposed to happen? Is his head supposed to spin around and start spitting out, like, vomiting something out of poltergeist to the exorcist? What do you think was going to happen? Joe Biden is a seasoned professional. He's been a politician for 50 years. He's been meeting and greeting people, shaking hands. He knows how to act. Same thing with Trump. Trump's been a, a famous celebrity for 40 years, over 40 years. He's been doing shows. This is how he makes his money. Of course they know how to do this. Right hand, hand so tell me about you guys. What you doing these days? Why don't you share about your... Man, Biden's really old. Passion of sports. I'm playing AAU basketball right now. Are you really? You look, are you guard? Yes, sir. Now, what grade are you in? Seventh grade. Seventh grade. Right now, I'm just doing basketball, playing guard on the JV team for my school. All right, Biden's school. How y'all doing in school? To this physical safety, basic rules. One of them is, let be honest. And two, you're going to make mistakes. But just get back up. You know how much this guy loves you. Yeah. You just feel it, can't you? Yes, yeah. Your dad jumped in front of a bull for you. By the way, we dads are hard to raise once you're a teenager. I mean, you know, jump in front of a bullet. Uh, what are you going to say about dad, about black dad, you know? But okay, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. Maybe he doesn't mean anything by it. You know, why you got to bring in bullets, bring up bullets with the black family? But okay, okay, maybe he would say that it was a white dad. I don't know. My point is this, man. 
Who cares? Like, they both should be able to do this with their eyes closed. They should be able to do this completely hungover or coked out. They should be able to do this. Adderall out, whatever prescriptions they got, biting on to, you know, hit them with the paddles to get them ready to do this. Whatever Trump is on, you know, come down off of that. So you could do like I'm just saying, like this is this is child's play for a professional. I could do this. I could do this. I've done this. I mean, people. I'm not like, who's going on? Ugh. You know? Anybody with common sense who's been in the public eye knows how to conduct themselves. So look, the whole point, my whole point, man, is this. At the end of the day, if you don't realize that we got two bad parties, you missing the boat. If you sit around and you're going, this party's better than that party, and that's all your focus is, if you don't realize that we got a corrupt system that needs to be rebuilt, that it needs to be running through the car wash like five, ten times, needs to be reupholstered, fumigated, broken down to the studs and be rebuilt, the whole engine needs to be rebuilt. That's what we are, man. And if you think just the guy's going to, like, like realistically, if you think one of these guys is going to fix it when they're taking all that money from Wall Street or all that money from Big Pharma or all that big money from Big Tech or whatever, Big Oil, come on, come on, man. All the bomb money, all the bomb manufacturing money, all the, all the military industrial complex money, the prison, and comple the prison industrial complex money. It's like people are really missing the boat about what's going on, man. They really are. But we, but I want, I want my viewers to stop, stop calling black Trump supporters sellouts, and I'm gonna stop doing it too, because if you, if, at this point, at this point, if you don't see how garbage Biden is, you're a sellout too if you support him. That's how. That's where I'm at. And if I can get black people to be there, and if white people can be there, I think most of them are there because they vote like. 55, 45, something like that. If I can get black people to be there to realize neither one of these parties is going to save you, that's why we need a third party. That's why I support third parties. And maybe we got a shot. 